begun. We'll take you live to more celebrations around the world throughout the morning. All that and so much more coming up this morning. Senior fellow at the National Taxpayers Union, Maddie Duffler. Nice to see her here in New York in studio. PwC partner Mitch Rochelle and market strategist at Third Seven Advisors, Michael Block. I'm just going to sit back and let you talk because I'm very curious <laughs> to hear what you have to say about the economy, these markets, you, you name it, we're going to talk about it. You know, it's interesting. The 2018 headlines in the finance world were dominant by China and I have a feeling that we're going to start 2019 the exact same way. China is going to be the story. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you can expect people on the left, I think, to be tweeting that that this is the worst December since 1931 <laughs> well, listen, for the Dow. So here's one of the underreported stories because we've had so much market noise this last month. Markets normally like divided government. So that's one thing that I think we need to keep in mind as we look at what could happen in January and in 2019 is that generally markets really respond positively to divided government because it's that Hippocratic oath of Washington, D.C., first do no harm, right? <laughs> so the fact that markets have responded so negatively, I think that is an indication that some of the policy we've seen come out of the Trump administration, tax reform, deregulation is still very much an important part, a part and part of an economic agenda and markets are reacting to that. We shouldn't lose sight of that just because there's Democrats taking over the House in Washington, D.C. Well, and last week, the talk in Brookneal, Virginia was the fact that the S&P did not officially close in bear market territory. It came very close, but it didn't close down 20 percent and that was, that was a sigh of relief. We're seeing, investors. we're seeing this interesting dynamic. We had the rally Thursday. We had what I would call, and I'm calling a boring day on Friday in terms of the volatility. And now we have an update today. So let's see if we can get a little more boring here, create a stable base, and we can go from here. Go up from here. Yeah. Let's hope. <laughs> Coming up this morning, Spectator USA contributor Kelly Jane Torrance is here. The coming collapse of China author Gordon Chang. Lipow Oil Associate President Andy Lipow, Wisconsin Congressman, House Financial Services Subcommittee Chairman Sean Duffy, and Hilton Capital Management Chief Strategist and Bank Analyst Dick Beauvais. And we have some doggies later in the show that are up for adoption. And they will be dressed for New Year's Eve. You can't miss that. To our top story this hour, ending the year on a high note, futures are wrapped.